Hi guys, Aaron Clark here, and in this video we're going to have a look at a Rhino command called Wirecut. Uh, it's a bit of a favorite of mine, and it's going to replace a lot of your sort of boolean difference and maybe your splitting and trimming operations uh, that you might be doing to uh, sort of poly surfaces. Uh, so here's a uh, here's a ring that I've modeled up. For some reason, I've made it quite uh, you know, quite wrong. There's no no way to put your finger through. Uh, so of course what you would do is you grab your finger rail curve and extrude that out and you know you come through here and do a boolean difference and there you go that's no problem uh, or you might uh, in a different circumstance you might sort of extrude an open surface and start trimming away the bits that you don't want and then joining those up like that and both of those are perfectly valid but Wirecut is going to sort of replace a few of uh, a few of those operations, and it's going to do it quite elegantly as well. Um, so let's start with a finger rail, and all we're going to do is type in Wirecut and select the cutting curve. In this case, it's the finger rail, and push enter. And all it's done is just you know it's it's, it's created this. Well, basically, it's it's split that poly surface into two and allows you to sort of delete out that inside one there. So a couple of rules with wire cut. The thing that you're cutting has to be closed and that's uh, that's pretty important. Uh, it's not going to work if it's not closed. You're going to have weird things happen. And uh, so here we've got a closed solid poly surface, closed solid poly surface. It can be a closed surface if you want. Um, it just has to be closed and solid. Now the other, other rule is the input curves, or the curves that you're cutting with, have to be planar. And that means they have to be projected to this C plane, one of the C planes. And uh, so let's do that again, wire cut, wire cut, uh, select the cutting curve, there it is there. Now there's a couple of options up here, and feel free to play with those. What I like to do is have keep all set to yes. And that's just going to keep both of those, you know, if we cut this away, it's going to keep these end bits here. Uh, if we have keep all set to no, it will, you can sometimes inadvertently, you know, delete the bit that you actually want to keep. Uh, there is an option to invert that and it's going to sort of trim away those outside bits, but like I said, I just like to keep that set to keep all, yes, and then I can manually go in and select and delete those. And, you know, because I use this quite a lot, if we go to our Rhino options by typing in options, come down to your aliases, select W and put in, you can just type in wire cut, and hit OK. So an alias means all you have to do is type in the W key, and that's going to run the command. So again, if we have a look at our aliases, it is W. So all you need to do is type W and hit enter. Uh, w, enter, delete. And you can see how quick you can actually get with this uh, once you've got that set up as an alias. Now I've got a, uh, I've got this model already set up with quite a few curves already. Um, like I said, it's just a matter of going in, hitting W, enter, and that's going to start cutting away, uh, cutting away where you've got those curves, and it's going to leave everything nice and closed and solid as well, so you don't have to go back and, and join things back up. Now you can't wire cut with two curves at the moment. You know, I'd love to cut a little section out of the middle of this bridge here, uh, but at the moment you can't. You can certainly split it, uh, but that's not the point of this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join up those two, join, and then I can wire cut with that curve there, and delete out that inside bit. Uh, and there it is, we've done, uh, I think I counted uh, 11 wire cut operations. And like I said, it's going to replace a lot of your Boolean difference, Boolean intersection, 
um, splitting, trimming, joining operations. Personal favorite of mine, and I uh, hope you jump in, have a play, and uh, start using it for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.